My name is Javad Parvizi. I am a professor of orthopedic surgery at Rothman Institute at Thomas Jefferson University. We had a patient that was treated elsewhere, extremely complex problem. Patient had had nine or 10 operations, had failed two prior two-stage exchanges, had a spacer in place, came to me with a massive uh, soft tissue defect. We went in there, took out the, uh, the spacer and closed up the soft tissues, waited for things to heal up, which fortunately they did. At the time of reimplantation, his ESR and CRP was normal, aspirated joint came back as very low cell count, very low differentials. So we were pretty convinced that this gentleman is ready to be reimplanted. Went ahead and reimplanted him. At the time of reimplantation, took samples, sent them to Pathogenius. We got a result back about serratia being present in those samples at a very high quantity again. At this point, remember, the patient had been reimplanted and we were sending these samples as part of a study, so we didn't act on that particular result, waited. Unfortunately, the patient failed three months later and we had to resect his hip again. This time, the culture did isolate serratia. So in my opinion, every division that is suspected of having infection should have pathogenous sent as part of supplemental information. Then when you get that information, you can decide based on your clinical acumen whether you wish to treat the patient for that particular organism or not. Pathogenius goes way beyond culture. In cases where culture was negative, Pathogenius has given us great information. Thank you.